What's up, YouTube? Squad Gaming back with another NCAA Football Dynasty video. I know I just uploaded one the other day, and I know I could have got out a Redskins video or something like that, but I'm really enjoying the Iowa Dynasty, and I think this is a series that you guys really enjoy. And today, it's the Iowa Hawkeyes against the Illinois Fighting Illini. The Iowa Hawkeyes are actually really pushing towards getting LaShawn Daniels Jr. back against number two now ranked Ohio State. They were jumped by Oregon. They didn't lose, but they were jumped by Oregon. They're ranked number two. He is on set to be back for that game, but he will be out for this game as we play away from home finally at Memorial Stadium. This is a game that the Iowa Hawkeyes need to win. Now on first and ten, hand off to Jordan Kanziri, and he's going to get a gain of three. Really missing that presence of LaShawn Daniels Jr. in the backfield. But we have a QB and CJ Beth 13 and third and three is going to complete to Matt Vandenberg, who is really in becoming a nice target for Bethard. Now second and seven, Bethard's going to drop back. He's going to be hit and sacked. A nice sack right there by the defense. That looks like Teco Powell, I believe his name is. Now third and 14, Bethard needs to find a first down here. Keep this drive going. He's going to find his tight end, Krieger Koble. As you know, Jake Doozy was hurt last week. He'll be out for this week, but we'll return next week. And this time on first and 10, Jordan Kierdzieri's down the sideline. A big run. He gets a couple of blocks, and he's down inside the 10 with a 45-yard run. What a play by Jordan Kanziri in this offensive line. Now first and goal, Bethard's going to find a wide open Devon Smith running a good slant route. Looked like a late hit in the end zone as he was drilled after he caught it, but that's a nice opening drive by the Iowa Hawkeyes. But the Illinois fighting line, I have a QB in West Lent, who is very good, and this defense really needs to shut him down and keep him down early. But here's a very good wide receiver. You'll see his stats after he gets this run. 35 catches, 516 yards, and 6 touchdowns already. This is only week 7. Those are pretty good stats for a wide receiver. West Lent is really looking for him all day, but on 3rd and 9, Drew Ott is going to be in for the sack. A nice sack right there. First and 10 play action. It's going to be there after the long run. He's going to find Tavon Smith. Tavon Smith's going to find his way for a first down. Iowa Hawkeyes now 1st and 10. Going to send Kittle in motion. He's the backup tight end. Now it's Jake, or Jake Doozy out. My bad. Kittle's going to make the catch here now. And that's a nice gain of 16 or 18 yards. A big first down for the Hawkeyes. They're inside the red zone again. 1st and 10. Bethard's going to drop back. He's going to find Kanziri. Kanziri's a nice spin move. Kanziri inside the 10. 11 yard catch. Another first down. 1st and goal. Iowa Hawkeyes. First and goal play action. Kanziri is always there. Open up. We run the ball well. And Krieger Koble with a touchdown catch. Really stepping in the shoes for Jake Doozy. And that's really what we need because tight ends are a big part of this offense when you go pro style. And they are really stepping up for us. Now, third and 10. Westland's going to try to get something going that's almost picked off by Desmond King. But all around, a good play by the whole defense. Really collapsing the pocket at the end and good coverage. But second and four, CJ Beathard's going to be running for his own life and he'll be sacked. And that'll cause a third and 12. Third and 12. CJ Beathard's going to drop back. CJ Beathard's got a little bit of time. He's going to find Krieger Koble over the middle, but he will only get a gain of 10. And that'll be fourth down, and Iowa would punt. Now, first and 10. Westland really needs to get something going for this offense. There's going to be their first down of the day. He's going to find his nice wide receiver, Allison, for the first down. Now, first and 10. Westland's going to drop back, and he's going to be sacked by E. Kakadi. A nice play right there by Faith E. Kakadi. Really stepping in well as a defensive tackle, him and Jarrell Johnson. Now, third and 14, trying to find something. He's going to be hit as he throws by Ikakadi. This defensive line is really getting to the quarterback as the defensive backs are having great coverage. Now, first and 10, Jordan Kansiri has a nice juke move, a nice gain of nine. And this, de and this offense is really punishing this defense. Second and one, right before half, Jordan Kansiri's got a lot of room around the outside. That's going to be a big gain of 15. And that'll take us to the end of the first quarter. A dominating performance by this Iowa Hawkeye team as they are driving again, threatening to be up by three possessions. A great opening quarter. First and 10, Beathard's gonna drop back. Beathard's gonna find Tavon Smith, who's gonna make a cut to the outside. He's gonna be down the sideline. He's gonna be inside the 15 yard line. 27 yard catch, now third and eight. They're gonna find Jacob Hillier over the middle, and he's gonna be tackled shy of the first down. A seven yard reception, but they have a lot of confidence going forward on fourth and one. Jordan Kinsier is gonna get nice blocks. He's gonna walk that one into the end zone for a four yard touchdown run. Nice job by there by the offensive line on fourth and one. Find the big hole, and that's a touchdown, Iowa. First and 10, Lunt really has to get a score on this drive. They have any chance of staying in the game. There's a first down with Stone Davis, a big first down one they need to start this drive. Second and 10, they're going to find Turner over the middle. Turner's going to get the first down there.
there. Now they're trying to now they're starting to click. Malik Turner with a good catch. Second and six, trying to keep things going. Westland's gonna drop back. He's gonna find his tight end. A big game here. He's gonna be down inside the 20. They're finally gonna find the red zone. Tim Clary with a big catch and a nice 23 yard. Uh, gain right there. First and ten. Lunt's gonna drop back. He's gonna lob it up. It's picked off by Miles Taylor. Miles Taylor's got a lot of room. Miles Taylor's got her out run West Lunt, and he's gonna do just that. Pick six. Iowa Hawkeyes just taking control of this game. Miles Taylor saw that ball that was just floated in the air for his tight end, and that was picked off by Miles Taylor. A nice play right there. You see, he just lofts it up for his tight end, expecting him to go make a play, but no, that would not happen. That's not actually a new NCAA record. This game just always has 80 yards as the max. I don't really know why. But third and 15, a nice play right there by Sean Draper, knocking that one down. Didn't need to do too much, just knocked it down. Second and four, Beathard's going to drop back. He's going to find Krieger Kobel from the middle. First down, Iowa. 28 to zip, they're up, and they're still driving in the second quarter. Second and 10, Beathard's going to drop back, find Krieger Kobel again. Another first down for him. That's going to be an 11-yard gain. And he's having himself five catches for 57 yards. A good day. Second and eight now. They're going to find the man. No, Krieger Kobel drops this one. It's going to be picked off after the tip. That is the first mistake by this Iowa team, actually. And that's going to be not C.J. Beathard's fault, but Krieger Kobel. So he's having himself a good day, but he does drop that one. And now Illinois has a little bit of momentum. They need a scoring drive here right before the half. First and ten after they get that first down catch to the tight end. He's going to be sacked by, is that Faith Kakity again? It is his second sack of the day. Third and one. Need to convert this. Lunt's going to drop back. Lunt's going to find his man. Will leak turn over the middle with a big first down. One they really need in nine yards. I say that often, but they really need to get back in this game if they want a chance. First and ten, they're going to find the man over the middle. It looks like Justin Hardy has a big first down. Third and seven. He's going to drop back again. West Lunt's going to find his tight end, and that's White. White's down the sideline, down to the one yard line, almost finds the end zone. A big play right there by Illinois. Their first big play of the day. First and goal. They're going to air it out to the outside. That's going to be a touchdown for Justin Hardy or Marty. I can't really tell. But West Lent throws a nice route out there. Just lobs it up as he saw the recognized the linebacker on him. But now Iowa's going to try to make their own drive. And second and ten, Beathard's going to roll out to the right. He's going to float it up to Jacob Hill. You're not going to be caught for a first down by the Iowa Hawkeyes. 20 seconds left. Third and one. They're going to go to Tavon Smith. That's going to be broken up on the wide receiver screen. It didn't work for them. Now they're going to go for it on fourth and one. C.J. Beathard can't find anyone at first. He's just going to lob it up, and that's going to be picked off. But no big deal because it doesn't really threat us. It was fourth and one. It's going to be turnover anyway. Just something that he had to throw up there, and that would lead us to halftime. 28-7, to a dominating performance by the Iowa Hawkeyes, offensive and defensive-wise. But they really need to pick it up as Illinois has some momentum. First and 10 coming out of the half. 12-yard gain. First and 10 again for Westland. Another nice 12-yard gain for Malik Turner. They're really starting to click. Him and the QB are starting to click and find their rhythm. Now third and three. They're going to get the first down right there by Josh Ferguson. A big play right there. Third and 11. Westland's going to drop back. He's going to have some time, and then it's finally going to collapse. Cooper's going to be in there for the sack. Any defensive tackle that steps in there is getting the sack. Now, fourth and 19, they're going to get, they're going to hand it off or uh, snap it to Tim Clary, who is lined up as the man behind uh, the right tackle, and he's not going to get anything with that as the defense was trying to go all out block there. And that was just an awful decision by Illinois. They should have recognized better and audibled out of it. But, anyways, I was going to take over on first and 10. They're going to get a first down. Now, first and 10 again. Beathard's going to scramble. Beathard's going to keep scrambling. He's going to take off actually he's gonna get a nice gain about 15 yards cj bethard showing the wheels first and 10 handoff to jordan kanzir he's gonna go around the outside he's gonna get a nice block there by the tight end he's gonna go around and score an 18 yard touchdown jordan kanzir finds the end zone once again really stepping in well for the sean daniels jr and now on first and 10 fisher's gonna pick that one off and that's gonna be easy run back to the end zone all he had to do is outrun the tight end he jumped that route read it perfectly westland with his second thrown pick Pick six of the game. Fisher with a great play right there. And then it was just all his wheels from there. He takes that one to the house. Now first and ten. Westland really needs to get something going as he's throwing another pick six. And he's going to find Malik Turner. I told you they're in a the rhythm. But it looks like it's a little too late. Third and two. Josh Ferguson going to bury his way up for five yards and get the first down. Now first and ten. Westland's going to drop back. He's going to find White on the right side. We had a big catch earlier. And he's going to find his way for a 13 yard gain. Now Westland's going to find White again, another nice catch of about 13, 14 yards. Nice play right there. 
Now second and four. Lunt's going to draw back again. He's going to find his man on the left side. That's Ferguson. Ferguson with another big catch. This Iowa defense needs a bend but not break third and goal. Hardy's going to catch that one, and he's going to be stopped as he dove and caught it and he went down. His own fault there, and they're going to kick the field goal. It's not going to make much of a difference. 42-10. to 10. This Iowa defense just needs to run some clock. Second and three. Five-yard run by Kanziri. First down. And now, towards the end of the third quarter, play action on third and three. Beathard's going to roll out. He's going to find Krieger Koble with a nice throw on the run. He's going to be gone. He's actually going to break a tackle or just run by some people for a 44-yard gain to the inside the five. A big play right there. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. 40 two to ten is Iowa gonna keep no mercy and score on this drive or will they show some mercy and just take it easy and put in some subs on second and goal they're actually gonna throw it here they're gonna find Jacob Hillier for the touchdown they are throwing when they're up 42 to 10 what is this team doing I think they're trying to make a statement towards Ohio State and that's exactly what it looks like they've made on second and four Drew ah, is in for the sack third and 12 now Westland's gonna need to make a play here it's a little too late anyway but they're trying to pad their stats and that's not going to happen there these defenses padding their own stats that's going to cause a fourth down now first and ten Jordan Kinsiri is going to get the run they're really just trying to run out the clock here but a nice spin move Jordan Kinsiri has gone no he's tripped up after a gain of 20 a nice play and a nice move there by Kinsiri now first and ten Kinsiri going to get another hand off a big block right there he's going to spin move again he's just messing with them now 17 yard run there third and goal Bethard's going to drop back Bethard's going to find Tavon Smith no it's incomplete we fourth and goal they would go for it actually what are they doing they're really trying to make a statement fourth and goal they're going to hand it out or pitch just a nice little toss to Jordan Kinsery he'll not be in and that will cause the turnover on downs third and nine now Illinois just I don't even know what they're they know that they're down and they know they're beat and that's what they've conceded to now we bring in the backups finally third and two Jordan Kinsery cannot get the first down there but we would be able to kick a field goal here on fourth and three. The first time we kicked the field goal all day, even though we could have had plenty of chances to do so. That one is up and good. 52 to 10. This team is just running it up on them. Third and nine. West Lund still in the game. A nice pass to the outside to Allison, who has been non existent for most of the day. You know, he came in as a big threat. Third and 13. West Lund's going to scramble to the right. He's going to throw it up. And that's going to be picked off by Sean Draper. And that will be the game. That just explains it all. The defense dominated the day for the Iowa Hawkeyes. The offense really threw the ball around, ran, ran the ball well. This defense, or this whole team, was clicking on all cylinders today. Really what we need the bounce in to week eight against Ohio State, who's ranked number two. A big week ahead of us. This is exactly the kind of game we need. 52-10, to 10, a great game. Looking forward to get LaShawn Daniels Jr. back. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. It would be much appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I'm out. Peace.